lot of us put our feeders or bird houses out to attract as many birds to our yard as we can. But how many is too many? A couple living south of Calgary says they've reached their limit after being swarmed by swallows. Here's Kevin Green. Hundreds and hundreds of cliff swallows are swarming this house near Cars Land. It was well, like uh, well, Alfred Hitchcock me. all over again, yeah. the birds. Yeah, Maddie called me on the way home and I go, yeah, we've got an issue here. <laughs> when Jim McGee came home to find a tornado of birds flitting around his house. We're nature lovers, but this, this is a little too much. We like them a little further away from our house. The cliff swallows use a nearby horse paddock to collect the material to try and build their mud and manure nests under the eaves. I can't even go out the front door because it's, uh, there's bird dung oh. everywhere, there's <laughs> mud, um, it's impossible. For years, the birds called this nearby bridge over the bow their home, but when repairs began, crews put up nets so the birds wouldn't set up shop. Confused and looking for a new place to live, the birds moved on to the McGee residence, and now the homeowners are working with the construction company to get a similar net at their house. Pretty much have to put the house under like a hairnet, I call it, for, for the summer during their whole um, um, nesting season. The McGees are now forced to spend hours a day clearing away the avian construction before it becomes permanent. There's the mud and of course the mixture of manure coming flying down on top of you, so next thing you have to do is shower right after you do that. But all that dirty work is important because cliff swallows are protected migratory birds. Clearing away unfinished nests is okay, but harming the birds or destroying a finished nest could land a million dollar fine. Kevin Green, CTV News, near Carsland. The McGee's say they hope to have a net over their house to stop the bird invasion by the weekend.